Hello everyone, I'm at Video Productions and welcome back to another video. Hopefully today's video will provide some useful information for you guys. Anyways, here is the uh, opening photo that I have for you guys today. I try to open up these videos with some interesting um, generations here. These are both mid-journey. These are little mushroom homes for mushroom creatures to live in and I thought these were quite interesting. Before we get started, I have good news for anyone waiting for Dolly 2 access. It really seems that uh, lately OpenAI has ramped up Dolly 2 access. Right now I'm on the Dolly 2 Reddit and a lot of people have got access lately and reportedly 10,000 people now have access to Dolly 2 and that calculates to around 500 people per business day that are getting access and completely random people are also starting to get access so this is a good thing. OpenAI is ramping up access so hopefully some of us will start to get access soon. Most of you probably already know what Dolly 2 is and as you can see it is very powerful a potato viking right here so mid journey is in my opinion the second most powerful text to image generation ai out there if you watch my last video i talk a lot about mid journey but its access is invite only similar to open ai but if you get an invite from someone already in mid journey you'll have a trial access and then you have to pay for it after that but if you go watch my last video i'm offering a chance for now four of you to get access to mid journey so submit your prompt ideas in my last last video's comment section and I will choose four of you to get access to mid journey which is only available through discord so you need discord so today's video is going to be comparing mid journey to dolly 2 with identical prompts and you guys are going to be surprised by how capable mid journey actually is it is a pretty darn capable model in general i think more people will prefer dolly 2 however mid journey can definitely do some things that dolly can't for example these longer aspect ratio images you can't get stuff like this from dolly 2 it's not an option that's available and it is used quite a bit through mid journey's uh, top generations Let's, uh, let's begin with the comparisons. I want you to keep in mind that all mid-journey images are actually generated by me, and I don't have Dolly 2 access, so all Dolly 2 images are generated by someone else. Now, here on the right hand of the screen, we're going to have all of our mid-journey images. And here on the left hand of the screen, we're going to have all of our Dolly 2 images. It's also very important to note that neither Dolly 2 or mid-journey represent their sort of final products. Both of them are still in a closed beta, and they're both very subject to change. Anyways, starting out with our first prompt. This is actually my prompt. A lemon wearing sunglasses, relaxing on the beach, uh, Pixar movie still, 3D, realistic render, hyper detailed. I was actually lucky enough to have a viewer with Dolly 2 access generate uh, these lemon images. So thank you Revelopod for these images. Midjourney has quite a bit of detail and I think puts up a decent fight against Dolly 2 for this prompt. Both of them are actually strikingly similar. Definitely on the beach, we've got detail, very good detail on the skin of the lemon and in the sand on both. We've got the bokeh or background blur as if it was shot on a camera or, you know, from a movie. And if we take a look at more of our Dolly 2 prompts, there's a lot of different styles going on here with Dolly 2. This one has a lot more of a simple aesthetic to it with Dolly 2. Whereas I don't think any of our images here from Mid Journey have a very different aesthetics, I guess. I guess maybe this one. If we look through our images from Dolly 2, you can definitely see more of a lemon shape with Dolly 2, I will say, but Dolly 2 is not perfect. We can see a little bit of a mess up up there, and in the reflection here on the sunglasses glasses, this is probably one of the better ones. It sort of messes up right here. This one went for a lemon slice sort of here uh, with Mid Journey's fancy glasses as well, which is pretty interesting. Mid Journey really does pump out quite a bit of detail though, and I've noticed that with this prompt, Dolly went for uh, a little bit less detailed here. This one's probably my favorite out of all of the Dolly 2 ones. This lemon uh, looks really sad, but the detail here in the sand, I mean, they're both very, very good. I personally, in these two Mid Journey ones, really like the look of the sand, although all the Dolly 2 images obviously have really nice looking sand as well. But still, like this sand, not really a huge fan of it. So there are some, some ways that Mid Journey is actually uh, putting up a better fight than Dolly 2, for example, and I think there 
there are some photorealistic aspects uh, to Midjourney's images here that uh, just you're not seeing in the Dolly 2 images, which is pretty interesting. Again, the, the photorealism or the realism was an aspect of the prompt. So I think, um, you know, at least for the sand here and some of the backgrounds, I think they look a little bit more realistic than um, the ones that you're, you're finding from Dolly 2. Although I still think Dolly 2 is more coherent with the lemon and everything. But still, both did a fantastic job here with this prompt. So, moving on to our second prompt. This is a sad cat wearing a blue hoodie, studio portrait, dramatic lighting. This is one of the ones where Dolly 2 is just the clear winner. However, I still think Mid Journey puts up a really good fight. First of all, this, uh, this cat generated by Dolly 2 is nearly flawless. A little bit of a mess up in the eyes here. He's got the hoodie on, it looks like he's actually wearing it. I mean, it's just insane. This is really hard to beat. This is good stuff. Mid Journey sort of has this preference, maybe more towards art rather than photography at the moment. Still, we get some really impressive results from Mid Journey. This one's a pretty realistic looking one. All of the cats in Mid Journey's definitely look sad. And you know, you can tell it's AI generated with stuff sort of morphing together, the eyes aren't perfect. But, I mean, fitting the prompt, Mid Journey is still, you know, taking some shots. Really good texture up here on the coat. The cat is definitely wearing the blue hoodie correctly, I think, which is not something I necessarily expected from Mid Journey or sort of the ears poking out here, which I don't mind. I think that's, you know, an artistic choice. But, you know, Dolly 2 is the clear winner. Mid Journey followed the prompt really well, I think. So, our next prompt is a little bit more of a surprisingly difficult one. This is a close up of a female face with headphones in retro colors, synth wave style. 2D digital vector art. Dolly nailed this one for sure. Almost nothing wrong with this. The neck's a little strange, a little bit of uh, stuff going on down here. Obviously, with uh, Mid Journey, uh, we've got two here and they're not perfect. They're not bad by any means. It's definitely picking up the vector style, you can tell, but the eyes are kind of horrifying. <laughs> the face is not a perfect shape. This one is a little bit better with the shape, but still, the headphones are all wonky. Still very cool and interesting art though. It's also interesting to note that there's a lot more color variety here with Mid Journeys, um, which is I guess an artistic choice you could call it, where uh, Dolly went with about five colors or so. Again, Dolly 2 clearly had an edge on this prompt. Now this is one I actually might prefer Mid Journey images over. Again, it's always all up to personal preference. The prompt here was a plate of various alien fruits from another planet photograph. So here we can see Dolly 2's result, definitely a photograph, sort of got that photorealistic aspect to it. And these definitely sort of, you know, at least to my eyes, look like alien fruits. However, I got this image from Reddit and I noted in the Reddit comments to this particular post, I guess some of these fruits sort of look like actual fruits that you can find uh, in other countries. And people, I guess, use them in Western movies a lot. So it's actually not producing new alien fruits. Whereas I'm pretty sure Mid Journey here actually is doing that. And I like that you can see the entire plate on this one and it's got the really nice lighting and everything. And it really, I think, nailed the prompt pretty well. Obviously, both of them are very good still. But we can also look at another take here from Mid Journey where it took the, the meaning of alien fruits a little bit differently and thought like fruit in the shape of an alien, which is pretty interesting. And I, I didn't really think about it that way. And I don't think that's necessarily a wrong way to interpret the prompt because what if I wanted like alien shaped fruit where it still produced this image where you don't see any of it looking like an alien, but you know, you still get the variation of this. We don't know with Dolly 2, maybe that was the same sort of thing that happened, but I thought that was very interesting where there was two different artistic takes on this one prompt. I'm going to show you the parents uh, for the mid-journey images over here. So this is sort of the parent that you can choose from where we can see some different alien looking fruits. And I did some variations based off that and then ended up with this one probably as my favorite. Either way, I think this one is sort of one of those artistic things where it's like, which one do I like better versus Dolly 2? where there's no real clear winner. You know, this one is a little bit more photorealistic, but I think that the 
creativity maybe is is really strong here with mid journey now this next one i was super impressed with uh both generations here we've got kentucky fried ice cream 50 millimeter food photography with dramatic lighting both mid journey and dolly 2 nailed this prompt if there was a clear winner it's going to be dolly 2 but mid journey's results are super good we've got the kentucky fried chicken up here clearly visible in the ice cream clearly visible in both again Dolly 2 has that preference towards, you know, maybe digital art or drawings or paintings rather than photography. Although, uh, 50 millimeter food photography was in the prompt, so it still looks like photography, but you get a little bit of that painting with Mid Journey. Here, we even see the spoon from Dolly 2, but this one, super detailed and super good here from Mid Journey. There's more uh, Kentucky Fried Ice Cream. It's really good from Dolly 2. This is this is really hard to beat stuff from Dolly 2. But Mid Journey honestly really kicked some major butt. We got the whole plate in here and it's really nice dramatic lighting and this one definitely looks like a photo. So does this one, especially this one. Tons and tons of detail and both of them are really good. I think honestly Mid Journey is a little sharper sometimes than Dolly 2. But yeah, I mean, it's Kentucky Fried Ice Cream. Both Mid Journey and Dolly 2 get an A plus for this one. This is one of the images that from Mid Journey where I'd be like, I would believe that's Dolly 2. And sometimes Mid Journey falls on its face with this next prompt. This was a frog wearing a top hat watching flowers burn with a purple flame digital art. This is a really tough prompt, and this is where Dolly 2 can sort of nail those longer, complex prompts. Here are the four variations I got from Mid Journey. None of them were nearly as coherent as what you get from Dolly 2. This one's almost perfect, but Dolly 2 even missed a piece of this prompt where the flames were supposed to be purple and they weren't. This one also missed that aspect, but it's not a very coherent image. We can see the frog and the top hat and the purple and the flame flower, but they're not organized in the proper way in the image. This is still impressive stuff for this technology, but not nearly as good as Dolly 2, which was able to put it together nearly perfectly. Now, this one was one of my favorites. And it shows off where there's actually some negativity sometimes, um, at least in my opinion, with having stuff that's more towards the photorealistic side with Dolly sometimes. Of course, you can always change that with a prompt, but this was sunlight shining through a red healing potion. As you can see with Dolly 2, this is exactly what the prompt is. It's a simple prompt. But Dolly 2 decided to go with a photorealistic photograph. And it looks like your basic potion. It's just a circular bottle. But as you can see, Mid Journey decided to, you know, take a little bit of a creative stance with this one. And we've got a little design going on with the potion. We get different bottle shapes as well, as you see with the variations. Definitely got sunlight shining through a potion. It decided not to go with a photograph, but digital art instead. And here is the other one. And again, a different bottle shape, sunlight shining through we get a little reflection down here as well a little bit of a design with the bottle maybe sort of to signify it's a healing potion but this one just sort of looks like a red liquid you can assume it's a healing potion i guess and here we can see mid journey's initial generations where there's definitely some different designs this one looks more like a chalice and i actually did change up the prompt a little with mid journey to try to see what it would do if it was prompted with a photograph of this prompt instead and it definitely looks a little bit more realistic a lot more like a photograph not as photorealistic as Dolly 2, but again, we get a different bottle shape, which is interesting, different background as well. We get some reflections, just like Dolly 2, though. It's actually strikingly similar. Mid Journey has a different bottle shape. Again, it, it got a little bit more creative, maybe with the design and the bottle shape and stuff. Still really cool stuff, though. Really interesting stuff. Of course, adjusting the prompt can yield all kinds of results from either... Uh, you know, depending on the size and the shape and whatever you specifically want from the image. And we're ending this with a very famous Dolly prompt. This is an oversized grizzly bear confused in calculus class. A photograph specifically. Dolly 2 pretty much nails it. Could be a little bit more photorealistic. But yeah, that is a confused grizzly bear. And here uh, with Mid Journey, this bear is a, it's definitely confused. He's definitely in calculus class, but he doesn't look 
quite right. He looks like he's been to Chernobyl. Uh, yeah, there, there you go again. It's a pretty scary bear, some eyes popping up in places they shouldn't. So, clear winner with Dolly for this one. But, you know, you can see that uh, Mid Journey is getting better and better for sure. But yeah, cool stuff. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. Hopefully, we'll see some more stuff from Dolly 2 and Mid Journey in the future. And I will see you guys in another video. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Which one do you prefer? Do you think Mid Journey is a really good alternative to Dolly 2? I'd love to hear your discussions down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm at Video Productions, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.